so hello guys and welcome back to water delivery application project series so in the previous video we have learned how to create this menu drawer which will overlap on all our activities so in this video we are going to learn how to create this beautiful dashboard by using the card view and grid layout so if you are new to our channel then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel because we have been bringing a lot of free courses material and courses for you so stay tuned and watch the video till the end so okay guys in the previous video we have made this dashboard activity so in this dashboard activity we will create our complete dashboard so first of all we will have to add the card view dependencies in our project So go to Google and simply search for the card layout and from here you just have to copy this card view implementation and then go to the gradle, build gradle, scroll down to the bottom and from here simply paste this dependency. Now click on sync now. Let's wait a while until our project is synced. We will have to add this and try again. So our project is synced successfully. Now let's come back to our dashboard activity dot XML file. From the layout, click the activity dashboard. Let's hide some windows to see the things clearly and go into the split mode. So first of all, delete this text view from here and we are okay with our constraint layout, parent layout. Now let's make the end linear layout as a child layout here. And its orientation will be vertical. And here we will have to add a scroll view so that if the screen is uh, shorter you can scroll down to see all our items in our dashboard or all our items in our grid layout so it is the best practice to add a linear layout in the scroll layout as its child layout and its orientation will also be vertical so now let's make a grid layout in it and its margin left will be 5 dp so that we can give appropriate space from the left and right and the alignment mode will be align margins so here we have the column count 2 where we have the three rows in our grid layout Now it's time to add the card view. And its width and height will be wrap content. Let's give a margin from all sides. It will be 12 dp. And let's give some corner radius of 12 dp as well and let's give some shadow or elevation so that the card view will look like a real one and in this card view we'll have a linear layout and gravity will be centered so that all things will be centered aligned and the orientation will be vertical Let's give some padding in our linear layout. And from here, our first thing will be our image view and its height will be 80 dp and width will also be 80 dp. Let's, let's give the image here 
currently we have not images here let's import the images in our folder so let's import our images in our code so i have all images uh, related to our project here let's copy these images and paste in our drawable folder click ok so guys all our images has been imported here now let's give every image one by one now it's time to add a text view below it let's give some margin from the top and its text will be brands let's give some appropriate color it's a dark gray color so in the same way we will have to place an another text view below it which will show that how many brands we have in our application so the text will be 15 at the moment so it is showing that currently we have 15 brands in our application so we have successfully added one item or one cell in our dashboard so we just simply have to copy this uh, cell and paste it in our grid layout so we have defined uh, two columns and uh, three rows so it it is making six card views so simply paste six card view here three four five and six so you can paste any number of uh, items here depending upon your requirement so now we simply have to change each icon and text one by one let's do it expand the corresponding cell and from here we will change the image to customer and the text will also be changed to customers and the same with its quantity let's hide it and expand next one and we have the orders 21 repeat the same steps for other So suppose we have uh, $6,700 sales so in the same way we have finally the deal icon here and let's write the text as deals and we have three deals in our application. So guys, as you can see here, we have successfully added our items in our grid layout. So you can see here that our complete content is top aligned. We have to give it the center line between the center of the screen. So for this, you have to go into the linear layout of our scroll layout. This is the parent linear layout for the scroll layout. And, and you have to select the layout gravity here make it center and you can see here our content is center aligned so guys you can see here our dashboard design is completed so a dashboard is basically used to describe the overview of our application so we can simply list all the main modules of our application on our dashboard and it gives a quick overview of our application so let me compile and build this application but before that let me select this activity from the manifest file and you simply have to copy this intent filter from here and paste into the dashboard activity so now let's build our application
So guys, as you can see here, our dashboard is in action. We can see our dashboard is looking perfectly fine in our application. So we have our menu drawer here. And in this menu drawer, we have our dashboard screen looking fine here. So guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like, share our video, comment on our video and subscribe to our channel. See you in next video.